Uh, my name is Cynthia Mideva Orengo. Then there's Gloria, but mostly I use Orengo and Mideva. And I'm the current um, intercontinental uh, face of beauty Africa. Being a queen, they don't just choose you because you're pretty or you have the perfect. Because that I'm Mimi, I've, my friends know I don't apply makeup. I don't even know how to do my own makeup. So it was not basically about how you look or how you dress. It's about your characteristic. That's why I said our um, face uh, of beauty does not look at your beauty. It looks at who you are from the inside, your behavior when you're there with the people. Because now here we are 27 girls, different countries. How would you re relate with these 27 people? Because when you're working, when they employ you today here, you're going to meet so many characteristics. And now you have to handle all these characteristics from one to Z. So there was the part of behavior, there was the part of how you relate with them, and then there was part of the charity. You know, there's that charitable, because our first principal choir staff is charity. And that is why it's a charitable event. How do you relate to people who really need your help? Because I may not need your help financially, I'll need your help emotionally, uh, physically, and all of that. So they were looking at all of that. It was not even about the beauty. I've uh, been raised by um, Christian families. My parents are pastors, so I've been brought up from a Christian home. And then um, I'm a graduate. I'm a graduate of univ the University of Nairobi. Um, I did urban and regional planning, so I'm basically I'm a town planner, land use planner. Modeling to me is my passion. So, no, no, I to stubborn. They go to school, they study, <clears throat> and then they become stubborn because they want to follow what they believe in. So, Mimi, I'm a very big advocate of whatever you believe in trust and push because it's taken me around six to seven years for people to actually recognize me. Growing up from a Christian family shaped the person I am today. No, it was hard. It was like really hard because the don'ts are too many. And I want to go on as how we are human beings. We have feelings, we have emotions. So we, we have to keep up with you're, you're like a role yes. model to so many people in church. So it, was, it wasn't easy, but I feel like I needed that upbringing to become the person I am today. There's one thing I know, you being a Christian, is this. there's that light in you that in any country you are in, lazima ita shine. Now that is the Christian side of me. I believe like this, there's something about me that all the African people were there, but Waliona Huyu, Nwanenda could represent the whole of Africa. So it was like a big task for me. So the previous ones I had, yes, I enjoyed that they gave me the platform, but now this one was like my biggest to me, because now I can work with anyone. The reason as to why I got this crown is I want to work with people and visit people who they feel like my dream is not big enough for you to accept it. I need to work extra hard for me to now start working on my dream. Yes, I know we need, we need the, the normal job for us to promote our passion. But then, why shouldn't you stick to your passion, fight for it, and enjoy the steps? Because right now when I tell someone I'm proud of myself, I will mean the word that I'm proud of myself. I worked extra hard and I fought emotionally, physically. All of that I had to fight. Someone asked me, if I crown you as the African queen, what are your goals if I give you this crown? This was my answer. I'm not looking at myself as the crown. I even told, I told them that I'm, I did not even come here for the crown. There's that, there's the first uh, 
um, sash they give you that you're representing Kenya. So it is face of beauty, Kenya. I told them, this is the only thing I need to go back home and help my people. I don't even need the crown. Because to me, to come to face of beauty, I'm coming to face of beauty for the people out there who their voices are not heard. There are people who are fighting for their dreams to be seen. Not only Kichuenye, Lazima Niskizwe, there's that joke called TikTok, Kenya, I must be heard. So there's that part of I must be heard that I feel like I'm representing that I must be heard. So it's not even about me.